Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. Noctua is notorious for making some of the best cooling products on the market, from their fans to CPU coolers and even simple things like their thermal compound. I've personally used their products for many, many years and I've had some very, very good experiences with them. They're back with a brand new flagship single tower cooler, the fifth generation NHU-12A that features seven heat pipes, a fin stack with increased surface area and all in a relatively small package. I know it might sound like I'm a little bit biased, but their products have always delivered on their promises. Let's see if the NHU-12A delivers on that as well. Let's start off with what's in the box. It comes with mounting brackets for Intel socket 115X and 20XX sockets, and it also includes mounting hardware for AMD's AM4 socket. It comes with a backing plate that can be used on many popular Intel sockets, but in our case, we're using an AM4 socket board to do all of our testing, so we're gonna be using the stock backing plate that comes with the AM4 board that we're using for all of our testing. It comes with two NFA 12 25mm thick 120mm fans and a tube of Noctua NTH1 thermal compound. The installation is very straightforward. It's basically the same as many other tower coolers and should take you anywhere from three to five minutes to install it. We did a comprehensive installation guide for the cooler for both Intel and AMD and you can check that out in the top right hand corner right about now. The construction itself is pretty nice and the heat pipe seem to be very well placed. Noctua has offset the cooler's mounting so it has better RAM clearances as well. Speaking of that, the main question people ask of these tower coolers is about RAM and GPU clearance. In the case of the Noctua NHU-12A, the fan does not sit close enough to your RAM to interfere with it. Even on quad-channel AGDT boards, there won't be any issues with clearance. You can change the fan offset as well in case you have some super tall RAM as well, but yeah, it, it, it just it doesn't interfere with it that much. That being said as well, it also doesn't sit too close to the top PCIe slot on most motherboards, so yeah, there's plenty of space to install and remove GPUs quite easily. I'm guessing you wanna know how it performs though as well. I know there's plenty of people out there who'd love to fixate our numbers, so quite obviously, we tested the cooler to appease the temperature gods. All of the tests were done on our two open air test benches, which you can see right behind us. They're both running the Ryzen 7 2700X. Both CPUs are set to stock clocks for the purpose of establishing a consistent baseline. For these tests, we let both of the systems idle for one hour with each cooler installed to get a proper idle temperature, then we use the Ida64 stress test for one hour with each cooler to get a proper set of temperatures for a fully loaded CPU. We ran the Noctua NHU-12A test alongside two other coolers that we have on hand right now. We used the Cooler Master Master Air MA620P air cooler and the Scythe Mugan 5 Revision B. All of the fan speeds were set to 100% so there wasn't any variance in potential airflow. Our ambient temperature that we recorded with our ambient climate for these tests was 18 degrees Celsius in a climate controlled environment. At idle with the NHU-12A we see the average temperature at 29.1 degrees Celsius after one hour of idle, which is approximately 11.1 .1 degrees Celsius over ambient. At idle with the NHU-12A, we see the maximum recorded temperature of 36.6 degrees Celsius after one hour of idle, which is approximately 18.6 degrees over ambient. At full load with the NHU-12A, we see the average temperature at 63.9 degrees Celsius after one hour of testing, which is approximately 45.9 degrees over ambient. At full load with the NHU-12A, we see the maximum recorded temperature at 73.8 degrees Celsius after one hour of testing, which is approximately 55.8 degrees over ambient. At full load with all three coolers, the Noctua NHU-12A performs quite a bit better than the other coolers while Keep them pretty quiet. The numbers, they, they just don't lie. One other thing I wanted to mention was the NHU-12A wasn't the quietest out of the bunch. The Scythe Mugen 5 wins in that department by a considerable amount. That cooler is, is whisper quiet, it's crazy. But yeah, at full speed, the NHU-12A it just wasn't that annoying and it wasn't that loud at all. And speaking of fans, the two included fans with the cooler are the new NFA 12 by 25 fans and they're, they're quite a bit different to the previous generation fans. They have a metal reinforced mounting hub with a new bearing design. There's also a new impeller design that has airflow channels on each of the blades that reduce the overall turbulence, which reduces the noise as well. Quieter is better, right? 
I, I know there's gonna be the inevitable comment that says something like this, oh, the performance is awesome and, and those fans are a cool idea, but I hate the brown fans. Guys, I've heard it all before. We get the same comments every single time we do a video with the Dark Tour product. If you don't like how it looks, don't buy it. I don't mind how it looks because of how well it performs. Those aesthetic things should never be the choice over choosing performance parts when you're buying performance PC components. Does that make sense? Yeah, don't, don't hate it just because it's brown. It doesn't make sense. Overall, the NHU-12A is a very well-designed product and it's a very well-executed refresh. I, I think it's gonna be iconic like the previous Noctua coolers. At the end of the day, would I recommend the Noctua NHU-12A? Yes, I think it's quite a decent cooler. And to be honest, it's a lot quieter than I thought it was gonna be. And obviously it's not the quietest cooler on the market, but it's, it's pretty quiet. If you're interested in grabbing one of these new Noctua coolers, there is a link in the description. They're going for around 99 US dollars on Amazon right now. I think that's a pretty good price considering it's a high-end cooler, it's a high-performance cooler, and yeah, it's a cooler that you'll be able to use on your system for many, many years to come. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do and tell us what you hated about it. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek, we seek. And it's a fantastic cooler. And I mean, all the reviews that I've seen from other people as well, pretty much echo that as well. Knock to a, knock to a killed it.